Hi everyone and welcome back or to my YouTube channel. So today I will be doing a Lush storage video of all of my products. Um, most of these products are from my Lush haul of 2016, so if you would like to see in more depth of what my collection is, you can click there to see part 1 and there to see part 2. Um, although I do have most of these products from my Lush haul, I do have the rest of my collection that I have been collecting over the past year or so in this as well. Okay, so near the end of this video, I will be showing you guys how to cut up bubble bars so that you can get more than one use out of them. Because I know that Lush products tend to get quite expensive, so if you would like to get the most out of your money, um, just keep on watching until the end and I will show you how. So for most of my singular products, I have them in the 12 Days of Christmas packaging. So inside here is what it looks like. I know it's not that great of a shot, but this is just the majority. In here I have some shower gels, I have some, woo, some lotions. Here are my shower gels and more shower gels over here. I have some soaps in the packaging so they don't melt. I also have some more lotions and lip scrubs over here. And over here in this section, I just have my reusable bubble bars um, so it's easy access. And yeah, so I have the pretty in pink container just here. Um, so inside here, I have um, most of my bubble bars. Um, they used to be all filled up, but I decided to cut them, which I will show you guys how to do soon. I just like to cut my bubble bars up because I find it a lot easier to use afterwards because it's just really easy access. Because um, the thing is, in here, I like to have them all wrapped because otherwise they can start smashing against each other and scents start to mix. So I just like to keep them wrapped like this and I just find it a lot easier when they're cut up. Alright, so for my bath bombs, I have them in this little glass, well not little, but it's um, just a glass bowl that I got from like Ikea, really cheap. I just keep all of my bath bombs that can fit in here. All the other ones are in the under the mistletoe um, gift set. And here, I just have the excess ones that would not be able to fit in the glass bowl. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna outline where you're going to cut. So here I have the six grid line, and this is how I'm going to be cutting my comforter. Um, I did try doing it in eights before, but I felt like it was too little of product so I feel that six is much better and I did the same for the mini bright side although I only sectioned it off into three parts okay so all we're gonna do is you can take a knife like this just any kitchen knife and we're gonna go on to the line okay so I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the bright side the mini Okay, so for storing these bubble bars after they're cut up, you can put them in any type of jar you want. So you can put them in one like this with a lid. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of this version. I like to put them into like a little mason jar. So I have these ones pre-cut already. Um, um, so I'm gonna add the one So I also have my Candy Mountain one cut here. It's a very small cut, but I'm just gonna cut it. Okay guys, so this is what they will finally look like. Now, I feel that these are just really good for using the bath because I know that Lush stuff can be really expensive. So this is just a great way to make your money's worth. Um, I can do a video afterwards um, of how to use these properly to get the most bubbles out of them. But yeah, this is the finished product.
Alright, so that is all that I have for you guys today. Um, I do hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did like it, please give it a huge thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any suggestions of the next videos that you would like me to do, just leave a comment down below. I hope I'll see you guys next time. Bye!